Yes, yeah, so as we cross our T, the dot our I to make sure say everything this sekpe sekpe to give you nothing but the best until today's uh, property matter. Uh, now we enter. So my name is Nevachin, I still chief. Olododo. A few minutes ago, we've been talking about talk Kukuru Kose. The man will you as far as uh, everything we consider property will go soon join us. That is Engineer Debo. So life for Takwi, the money don't come that teaser without wasting time. I present to you. The number of who <laughs> Chief, good morning. Good morning, sir. How are you this morning? Adupe. Yeah, good morning, our viewers. How are you doing and how is, how is everything? Uh, son, Uncle. Yeah. Yo, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nadia, Nadia comes everywhere, too. Abi, so you travel far north. Our people in the north. Son, Uncle. Jama. Yo, wow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jama. Arewa. Yeah, yeah. Gida, ne? I can pick one or two things. Oh, you uh, serve for not? Yes, I served in Meduguri. Aha. I served in Bono State, Meduguri itself. Wow, you know? wow. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Boma, that's where I stayed. I, did, uh, I taught in, uh, lectured in Ramat Polytechnic. Wow, 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 that's great. And I did some PP around Boma. <laughs> that's great, you know, that's so, great. The yeah. night is fun to be. Uh, I lectured in Waziru Umar Federal Poly. Waziru Umar? Yes, that's Where is that? Which state is that? Kebi. Kebi. Okay. The person who go not come back. Yeah, really. Not sweet. That's yeah, I wanted Amusa. to come back, though. Ah, <laughs> I don't <laughs> Because I wasn't used to the weather. Uh, yeah, very harsh. Mejuguri uh, so, weather. But I stayed in Yola also for like over six months. Wow. Jimeta Yola. Yeah. Wow. Because I did my my six months IT in Ngorori, Afcot. I don't know if that uh, farm still exists. Wow, this is very interesting. Yeah, so and uh, yeah. we're just trying to talk about the unification of Nigeria. Yeah, that's the beauty. It's usually of interesting. Yeah, that's the beauty of everything we would do to show, say, we all be one. Today, we go uh, into the right of uh, a tenant. And uh, this one, we will carry come today. Now, because we won't even make a guy explain to us. Our people, we talk, say, any two about it, any Luri, a Siri, a Tibo. Meaning, they person will never get out. In secret, it never cover. In Ashiri? In Ashiri, never cover. Okay, secret in Ashiri. Yeah, so that means, say, <laughs> we they always think, say, well, landlord, like the name implies, land and is a lord, has the right to do anything at any time, even up to eviction. Some landlord will tell you, if you annoy me, if you just pay now, I'll count your money back to you, and you will leave now. So once I feel provide your money, you have the right to leave now. Now All these things, the China is so supposed to be gang gang as a tenant, say me not a land where talk account. Do I have some right as a tenant? Uh, does the law uh, provide or uh, make a space for me to say, ah, you will you just pay? I be you don't use half of your money. Mm. Person obviously say make you just go anyhow. Below my wallet law with wife and children. Mm. What are the rights of a tenant? Okay, with? thank you very much, um, Chief Olodo. Like I always say, caveat, I'm not a lawyer. Caveat and <laughs> I'm not a lawyer, or disclaimer, I'm not a lawyer. But, you know, these are just basic rights as um, stipulated by the tenancy law that we, we uphold in the country, so uh, and in each state. Um, for Nigeria, uh, there are certain basic rights. You mentioned the issue of notice, for example. Um, a tenant has a right to be given notice before eviction. Mm. When we say notice, I can't remember your account. Mm. When we say notice, is there, yes, disclaimer, cover, cover, and all this year, but let's, <laughs> let's even have an idea. Say, your job one day, is there a number of days where this uh, notice is supposed to carry, or once I notify you within 24 hours, you must go? No, no. So, what the law stipulates is that depending on how you are paying, okay, sir, you know, you qualify for a certain tenor of notice. So if you are a monthly tenant, right? Okay. You qualify for a month notice. Okay. Uh, a month notice. If you are a quarterly tenant, okay, sir. You qualify for um, a month notice. Okay, a month notice. If you are a six monthly tenant. No, if you're a quarterly tenant, you qualify for three months' notice. If you're a six-monthly tenant, you qualify for three months' notice. Okay, sir. 
You understand? Uh -huh. So that's how they, then if you are a yearly tenant, yeah. you qualify for six months notice. So six months tenants, half yearly payment, you qualify for quarterly notice. That's three months notice. Okay. If you are a monthly, um, if you are a quarterly payer, you qualify for quarterly notice, also three months notice. If you are a monthly tenant, you qualify for monthly notice, a month notice. And if you are a yearly tenant, you qualify for a year's notice. Okay, let I us mean, six months notice. Let us quickly go to the aspect of we are still on notice now. My rent go due for December. Mm. My landlord give me notification for June. Mm. That makes it six months. Yeah. Does that justify the stand of the landlord? Or now when my money is finished, we go begin to the count notification months. No, nothing like that. So I think that question if I guess right, is stemming from the fact that you think that notice period is a rent-free period. Mm. And there's nothing like that. There's no rent-free period. But most landlords, they draw and say, me go, I don't uh, If it's it. by his own choice, okay. he doesn't make it the rule. Hmm. There is no, no month-free, I mean, rent-free period. You may not be the attend. You, you are now a tenant at uh, is it a tenant at will or an occupier. There is a term that lawyers use for those people that have been given notice, but you will pay for use. You are still in the property. Nothing free. Yes, you pay for use. Okay, before you carry us far into uh, the rights of a tenant, uh, also it's important we let our viewers know that the phone lines are open. You can feel free calling. If anything, they do your money, yaga, yaga. maybe where you get with your <laughs> landlord. I be landlord say, where you get with your tenant, and you no one take the law into your hands. Feel free, engineer. You should not take the law into your hands. Yeah. <laughs> so when I had the talk, say, engineer, Debo, you go do justice to them. He will guide us on how to go about it. Uh, the next one, where I want to ask, where, where I want to make your airport set lights on. Mm. We tenants, how do you come on when you get issue with landlord? Mm. And as some people, they deliberately do this thing. When they get issue with landlord, most of those where they stay inside one room, now in this thing they come on to. <laughs> they will now lock, they will pick few things, lock the door, then go they stay with their friends. Some of them, if you go six months, some of them even up to a year, some of them, so callous, they will go and, I, I use the word callous because they deliberately won't drown. Yeah. So callous, they will lock the door for a year because they've gotten another place, but they will just deposit maybe some little things like a, a wardrobe or things they don't really need again. Yeah. Expecting that yes, the landlord will break in, and once he breaks in, there is a problem. What did the lawyer talk on when somebody leave? Because I am very sure I know that of abandoned car on the street. Mm. A person leave car for a certain number of period. Lord, they will guide and say it can be impounded. So as a landlord too, in your village, mile, akpagore, oring, you know, peak, we send message, you know, reply, and you lock my door for one good year because we get issue. Can he say either? I, Open door, make, make I see what's in the inside. Have I drawn too much as a landlord? Knowing full well, say you serve the guide or say as a landlord, I have the right to inspect my, my occupier's place. Okay, thank you. So, um, what you do in that regard is to report the matter to the nearest police station. You understand? You cannot just open the property and enter. The reason is that. The tenant can surface and claim things that did not even miss. Whether they did not miss or not, it will not be your word against his. I didn't see this there. No, I left it in my house. In fact, there was one million era cash I kept on the roof. I mean, it's inside the ceiling that I usually keep for emergency. I didn't find it again. Mm -hmm. uh, my stereo is, uh, or my TV, uh, it's. Uh, uh, flat screen, so so that you know, you can come up with a number of things that supposedly are missing. So it will not be your word against this. But if you go to the law, go to the police and, re and report the fact that somebody has locked your property up, a tenant, a sitting tenant has locked your property up. If his uh, rent is still counting, you okay. understand? So, sorry, After sir. the rent. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, sir. Let's quickly take care. Kaidi, good morning. Hello, good morning, sir. Yeah, how quara? Fine, 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 sir. Engineer, there, please. Good, good morning. All right. I went 
I rented a house from, from my landlord. Okay. The room of Palos Okay. Then, and the house did not get sucky away. And the landlord promised me after that season that I entered the house, they would do the sucky way. Okay. Almost two years they have not done the sucky way. So what can I do to that, that, that kind of landlord? How are you coping first? Sir? How are you coping first? That's my How have you been coping since all these days? That's my concern. Yeah, I'm entering push to go and go and pull. I'm go and pull. Yeah, doing push at push attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one yeah, one yeah, 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 <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I, I, I can identify with your challenge. Now, of course, that landlord has made that place uh, inconducive for you. You actually have the right. Yes, you have the okay. right to enjoy uh, the property, you know, for, for it to be made convenient for you and for the things that yeah. were promised to be delivered, really. So in that regard, the landlord has reneged on his promise. So you have... You have few options, you know. One of the easiest one is to leave the house, as it were. Maybe you can demand for your refund. You understand things like that. But again, the process that you go through with that. So, if you want a soft landing, you may just look at not renewing that rent and just looking for a property when you are through. Because somebody that has not uh, well, fulfilled suck away promise. And what you paid, what you paid when you enter, are you the only tenant in the house? It's gone, okay. If, if you, what I wanted to find out is if what he paid could have provided the sock away. So, people learning from his experience, I would suggest that when there are situations like that, undertake, rather than pay the landlord, undertake to carry out that operation, whatever. Do you understand? Or, better still, uh, before you enter, let it be that the agreement is that they will do it before you enter. So that if they don't do it, you are asking for, maybe they say you should pay, but they will do it before you enter. If they don't do it, you are asking for your money back. Well, you are Not that for you are stuck in now, the sir. place. Professionally, is it the old money, is it the old rent they will return, or just the one we never use? You mean what? for cars that have stayed in the place yes. before? Yes. No, well, everywhere that the landlord has breached agreement. Uh, it's a dispute, so they, they, it, it, may, it may result in mediation or litigation. Wow. It's a dispute, you know. So mediation, may, they may give and take and settle it. Litigation, okay. they may be claiming rights. Okay. But okay. Kyle has a right, actually. Okay. Kyle uh, under the law, they will say you have a good case. So like uh, Engineer Deboe don't talk. You have a very good case if you can pursue it. Yes, yeah, so anywhere we obligation day rights must also do. Once I they perform some duties, I must certainly enjoy some rights. So now you will contact the, ah, the parents. Ah, if the parent now once they fulfill that one and they comply with everything with the landlord they make you do so, you self must enjoy some rights and not the one we will they talk about today be that. So I would allow engineer Debo to run through some rights of a tenant. What it be the rights we tenants supposed to enjoy? We don't even hear one from one of our callers we called the last time say one is so car we oh god <laughs> engineer Debo let's allow you to yeah, run so, through some um, rights. Another right you have as a tenant is that when you pay, when you make payment to your landlord, you have a right to a receipt. You have a right to have your receipt, okay? You should, because I think it's almost becoming commonplace now where people pay and there is no acknowledgement of their payment mm -hmm. in any shape or form, you know? And they're having to run around the landlord to get their payment acknowledged. That shouldn't be ordinarily. That shouldn't be. So you have a right to a receipt when you make payments, mm -hmm. right? The way you are doing, hmm, it's as if... I know of some as cases, as because, before. no, no, I know of some cases for real, I know of some cases where we okay. say, based on trust, now even they cause these ones, okay. based on trust, yeah, yeah, I trust that, and I'm a landlord with a, but, uh, uh, be, be your first and you delay me, because, mm. yes, it's my very, it's my, it's like my father, mm. it's like everything, but yet, 
tea or oba shell at all, mm. and you know, collect research for years. Mm. How a person could take. No, take you, you are, you are, it's, it's important. It's only, um, how do I put it now? I think it's only being uh, financially prudent, okay. you know, and being a good student of life to always ensure that you document things. Because, God forbid, we don't know what can happen to anyone at any time, then. so to say. We believe that it's only good that would happen to us, you know. So, but the document you have are the things that will speak when you are not there or when you can't speak for yourself. You understand? Or I get you, sir. support whatever you say. Whatever claim you, you, you want to making. lay to the children. You understand? So we live by this is what will. I mean, As landlord passes on and the children or the administrators are auditing the books hmm. and they can't see where you've paid. you've paid or whatever, according to them. How do you defend the fact that ah, I've paid. How do you? You know, so if you don't co collect your receipts, so I encourage people, please, when you make payments, get acknowledgement. When you yeah. make payments, yes, get, get acknowledgement. It may to... not even be so much of a formal receipt. Of course, legally, I think lawyers have uh, a format of receipt or something like that. But yeah. so an acknowledgement of your payment at all. That's the basic. If I use app, mm. this bank app and everything, mm. take pay my landlord, I do transfer and I write them mm. there, does it suffice? Well, to an extent, it shows that money left your place at that time for the man's account and for that purpose. But you see, just to solidify that, you should get an acknowledgement also from him. Because if he cleans it, yes, because money. that's what you have there. Is a debit notice. Abi? Yes. That the bank debited your account. Ben. Has it happened before that the bank debited your account, but the other yeah. person did not receive it? It's credit. got reverse. That's one. But it has also happened that even it didn't reverse. But, you, but the, the other person did not see it. Yeah, so, a woman hang. Yeah, especially weekend. <laughs> weekend. <laughs> weekend. Hang. Or towards end of the month. Uh, so that weekend hanging, I think, is uh, format. Uh, that one is not. I when you say it's common during weekend, yeah. people just decide that it's hanging. It's not. <laughs> a, a, <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, it's a you just want to avoid it. Ah, I'm on the send. Oh, ah, but I've sent this since morning. Maybe it's the network. <laughs> I'm in Bala. I'm in I'm in Bala. How are you there? I'm in Bala is calling for. Is it Quara? So, uh, is it here? Bimbo. Ah, I'm sure. I quickly want to ask a question, sir. Uh, Bailiff, Bailiff, Bailiff. Do we have Bailiffs in Nigeria? Hello, good morning. Oh, hello, good morning. Hello, morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Abim Bola. Please go on. I am calling from Niger State, sir. Okay. okay How Niger. Niger? I'm calling from Niger State. Go on, please. Go on. I rented an apartment. Okay. I, I rented an apartment, which we have paid since October last year. And the lawyer that gave the property to, send, she's sending letters to us that we should pay, we should pay. And we have already paid. That means she's not keeping record for all what she has been doing. What can we do to such? When you paid, did you get a receipt for your payment? Bimbola, did you collect receipts? Can you hear me, sir? Yes, did you collect receipts for payment? Hello, Bimbola. Hello, sir. Did you collect receipts when you made payment? Yes, we collect receipts. And so just reply yes. the letter and attach a copy of the receipt now. Now we've paid what you're asking. We collect asking. receipts. And so just reply the letter and attach a copy of your receipt to, as evidence that you've paid for whatever the lawyer is asking for. Okay. That she should not gone. be a problem at all. Uh, I feel once there's a receipt, it should not be. Yes, that yeah. should not be. The issue of belief, like, are they, do we really have them in Nigeria or is a eviction? 
done by only the uniformed men. No, oh, there are court beliefs now. Where the air person evict legally. Ah, uh, yes, now. They come carry people uh, load out now. Yes, there are court beliefs that execute eviction. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, there are court beliefs. In Nigeria. Ah, yes, now. There are court mm, beliefs. I just want to be sure. Okay. Uh, there are court beliefs. Then um, you also have a right to tenancy agreements. Hmm. Yes. And that one, most of us, you know, they even care. Cut it, cut in at uh, enter. Yes. Because that time, the shackles. Care. And later, it comes to uh, haunt us, you know. Many. So, I would encourage that you ask for your tenancy agreement. Okay, you have a right to it. Um, most of the time, you would have paid legal fee, you know. You pay agency, you pay legal. You have a right to that agreement, to read it through. Okay. And if you have any issue, to discuss it and have an agreement and then sign. Because whatever you sign there shows what you agreed to as what you guide this your landlord tenancy arrangement. You know, so you must ensure that that is well done. You understand? So you have a right to agreement uh, to be prepared and for you to sign. You also have a right to exclusive use of the property that you are paying for. What do you mean exclusive use? So if I'm renting a two-bedroom flat for one year, I've paid for one year, the landlord cannot come and say in the middle of the you know what, please, I just get somebody who will come. Can he manage one room in your place? Because I'm the landlord. I have the right to exclusively use it. It's exclusive. Do you understand? Now you can, in our agreement, I might have agreed that in that two-bedroom room, uh, we may not have more than six people there inside it. Uh, so far, I don't flout any of those agreements or uh, clauses. You understand? I have right to exclusive use and enjoyment, to live in peace, peaceable habitation. I have a right to peaceable habitation, undisturbed. Not that you'll be coming to knock my door every day say, I want to check whether this one is okay. I want to check whether that one is okay. No. You can inspect your property, but on notice... And as agreed, as we might have agreed. Yes, you cannot just barge into my house and say, I want to, I want well, to. Yeah, well, no, well, well, there's nothing like that. You, you, we should have an appointment. Want to come and we would inspect the house every quarter, no problem. You have a right to that. I can't deny you that. Do you understand? But it must be as agreed and on notice, you know. Otherwise, I should enjoy the exclusive use of my property. Mm. Okay, uh, the the aspect of say person one pack come out. Today the man said that we want to call a sublet, subletto. I would just have a ring come broken. Where does he go one pack come out? Or a ring come? You can't go bring your brother. See, understand? You can't use a car and just say go mina. I mean go Kaduna. You can't see that the brother they pay the rent go. If the landlord discovers this. Is this a breach of contract? Can the landlord use that as a base of eviction? Uh, he can, actually. Is subletting even legal? Uh, uh, so if it's not, it depends, the agreement will have stated if it is allowed and the condition upon which it can be allowed. Primarily, it will be that at least the approval of the landlord will be sought okay. and, and must be gotten before you are allowed to. But you cannot just hand over a property to someone that did not go into any negotiation, does not have any agreement with the landlord and go. No. The landlord, if he must have to decide whether he wants to have that agreement or that relationship with that person. If he does not have want to, he would evict you. Evicting you means evicting whoever you whoever. So, okay, 